coming back to Earth, retailers are also looking to push the boundaries by using AI so that shoppers can find what they want more easily or even surprise them with other matching products. The tech is also set to help retailers cope with a manpower shortage, as well as improve marketing and product placement. Nasir Rohim looks at what the future of retail looks like with tech playing an increasing role. A quick snapshot of me, and with that, the algorithm immediately spits out a range of options. Thanks to an AI search assistant, it matched products that could fit my style and budget. Lo and behold, it is also prompting me to check out accessories which I may also need before I've completed my search. And for those shopping online, they can simply upload photos and get matching options and the works. So the problem that we solve is one of product search and product discovery so that consumers can find their products that they want to buy in the fastest time possible and not be bounced away to a different site because of uh, their bad uh, search experience. AI is also helping retailers make better decisions. For example, by tracking which parts of the store has the highest foot traffic, it can then place products, advertisements or promotions there to maximise exposure. The AI analytics happening inside the store is really benefits for the retailers because if they have those kind of information, it can help them to plan properly how to put the right merchandise inside the stores, how to maximise the revenue ha happening inside the stores. So that's some things the retailers in Singapore as well is really approaching us to really understand more how technologies can help them in delivering the right solution inside the store. This homegrown electrical appliance company plans to have an unmanned, fully automated self-checkout store by the end of next year. It's to deal with the manpower crunch the retail sector is facing. It is also looking to put in an automated inventory tool. If we have such tools, then a particular popular product will not go out of stock. So it will definitely help in terms of the customer journey as well as the customer experience. Based on the customer purchase behaviour, we can better predict what is the next product that they are going to likely to purchase. This is the first ever Asia-Pacific edition of the retail's big show from New York. Enterprise Singapore is supporting the three-day event as well as the Singapore Retailers Association to curate unique store tour experiences for show delegates. Singapore also has a pavilion at the exhibition bringing together retail tech players. Well, our reporters certainly enjoyed that experience, but we want to find out more. And for that, we have Mr. Ernie Ko, President of the Singapore Retailers Association. Mr. Ko, AI, augmented and virtual reality, you say they're all going to make a big impact on retail. Are they? Are retailers and shoppers really ready for these big changes? It's not whether they are ready. I think it is a matter of time that most retailer, in fact, most a lot of industry, even outside of retail, the retail industry will adopt. And uh, particularly within the retail industry, it is you know the adoption of AI not only on the front end but also on the back end, uh, the efficiency of uh, the uh, inventory, for instance as well as the manpower savings, uh, both at the front end, the front liners, as well as the back end inventory management. Uh, for the front end, I think you, a lot of us are seeing uh, that, for instance, the manless um, supermarket coming on board, as well as, uh, you know, it's not as, as, far, as easy as the self-checkout at the supermarket uh, mm. to start off with, but there are more to come in on the AI where you are able to uh, assist the customer in uh, uh, the ease of shopping at the same time uh, uh, also help the business in their efficiency in the back end. So it's not if but when and it sounds like you know retailers have a lot to do. So how will the SRA support them to leverage this for their business? Okay, uh, SRA, the responsibility of the Singapore Retailers Association is to help the small and medium-sized uh, retailers uh, to scale within their business and to help them to with the uh, any assistance uh, that uh, the government agencies, for instance, at Price Singapore or uh, Workforce Development has uh, in order to help them to pivot away from uh, manpower AV to tech uh, heavy.
Right. So technology certainly uh, up there to help. But aside from that, what are some of the other challenges that local retailers are telling you they are facing and, and how can you partner alongside them? Okay, the current challenges faced by retailers are, of course, the rising cost, the inflationary aspect of this, both both domestic and also uh, foreign inflation. Domestic inflation is basically driven by the high labor costs as well as high rental costs. Uh, the f foreign inflationary, of course, the product imported into Singapore uh, is uh, uh, quite costly and as a result uh, it makes uh, Singapore um, retailers facing the rising costs as a result um, trying very hard to maintain their prices at the same time. Mm. But having said that, uh, Singapore Retailers Association uh, want to help these retailers by creating experience rather than selling products, uh, they should sell experience uh, mm. at the retail level because also the challenges uh, that the physical retailers are facing is also the only uh, the online uh, business that uh, you know, people like Shopee and Lazada is coming in, and uh, how uh, how the uh, retailers in Singapore are either able to jump on this platform or pivot their physical retail stores to more experiential uh, uh, retail. Yeah, and I'm told you've uh, given much thought to this because uh, SRA has a plan, a blueprint, a roadmap, if you like, to actually help retailers transform. And you've even got a deadline of 2028. Tell us about that. Okay, the retail roadmap was developed at 2022 with a vision of uh, inspiring retail experiences. Which uh, the the as as the vision states, um, you know, inspiring retail experiences, so as to uh, uh, pivot away again from the monotony of uh, product retail. So the product the more map originally was stated to be completed in twenty twenty five, but because of this raising cost of doing business of uh, of you know, during after pandemic, we decided to extend it to twenty twenty eight. Mm. And um, uh, the part of the, the roadmap uh, also is to upskill the manpower uh, to, how should I say, to create a different environment so that we are, they are able to either uh, work uh, at a store level at the same time double up as um, other jobs, for instance, updating the website and uh, multitasking in uh, the retail store uh, environment. So even though the roadmap has been somewhat extended by three years, as you mentioned, have you still seen uh, some green shoots so far? Have you seen some uh, low-hanging fruit or some achievements uh, in the Singapore retail industry from the roadmap? Yeah, for instance, uh, the... Enterprise Singapore today launched the Retail Open Innovation Challenge. This is to basically um, uh, call in uh, retailers to be able to use technology or sustainability uh, in their business. Uh, for instance, Best World, uh, they are using AI to uh, scan the surface, uh, the faces of consumer so that they are able to determine what uh, health product they should, uh, the consumer should get rather than um, going through a prescription or mm -hmm. going through a traditional Chinese medicine uh, doctor. Mm -hmm. So use AI as a basis uh, to, as a, almost like a prescription of a health prescription. You know? So many of this uh, on the part of, of, of uh, sustainability on the part of AI, to help the business to move forward into the 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 um, the twenty twenty eight uh, retail roadmap vision. I don't know, Mr. Ko. It sounds like AI is just going to make me spend more money, more than anything else. But we do want to thank you for coming we in hope, and speaking we, with us. Yeah, <laughs> we hope Aniko. so. We hope so. <laughs> President of the Singapore Retailers Association. There.